How'd you go then, pirate dog? Oh, you got Vicky. I ain't got the Vic. Vic. I haven't seen it yet. I actually am thinking, I was just talking today about getting one of these. This is my niece's uh, Crown Vic cop car. This is the sheriff's car. Right here, they fucking put the spotlight on them. Yeah. Got a nice little hole there. Yeah, these were uh, Alberta sheriff cars. Sheriff car? Yeah. <laughs> so we got it with 200,000 K, which isn't too bad. It's like 100 and, what, 130,000 miles? Something like yeah. that. Yeah. There's lots of life left there. Sure, these things go forever. No, no, you don't get in. So Does it have door handles? That's all been yeah, upgraded. Yeah, that's door all handles all back on? Yeah. 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 Derry did all that already. Yeah. He oh. just did it for me before we picked nice. it up. Hey, no, not for you. Yeah, it's cool. And it's behaving itself. Oh, it's a tank. Is there a hammer in yeah. that? Oh, yeah. Braggers. Did she jump in it? All I had to do was fix the cigarette lighter so she could uh, plug the Bluetooth thing. Literally paint. had to fix the cigarette lighter. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't plug the Bluetooth through that in. Jump over any bridges yet? Wait, waiting for that phone call. I tried to jump the bridge. No, they're actually no. pretty fun cars. It's just <laughs> they're great cars. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get one. Great cause... wheelbase, right? Yeah, cause... this is the last real car. And they come with everything normally, like power steering, coolers. Uh, oh yeah, it's got 200 like, amp alternator or whatever. Everything. Really? Oh yeah. Right. Funny. That's cop shocks, about. all the shit. Cop shocks, cop brakes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Runs on regular gas. Yeah. <laughs> it's been, it's been a good awesome. car. I mean, she had a couple of drifty moments and a little, woo, a little scared herself, but whatever. She survived. Take her to a parking lot, yeah. teach her. Well, I did that night. We're like, we're going to go do some drifting with yeah. the police cars. So. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> so, we're, uh, back on the poncho and the brake job is wrapping up today that's looking very nice and miles has gone and put new steel lines on both sides there of course they broke and everything's looking really good new wheel cylinders going in just the uh, other side left to reassemble here We're like only a couple of days from test drives, eh? A couple of days. <laughs> it might be a little eager. <laughs> you gotta get it done before I get my Chev done. First nice day, I'm driving the 37. Even if it's to the end of the driveway. You, yeah, uh, you gotta do your tank and stuff too. Oh yeah. Yeah, I guess we're kind of on the same program. Well, hey, I already drove You're actually down. ahead of me. Win. Yeah. You're way ahead of me. Yeah, After a winter of uh, sun going down at 4.15, it's nice to have the sun it's pretty exciting. Six o'clock and the sun is still out. It's unbelievable. Menace is having a little snack in her car there. Six o'clock in the day. Yeah, nice. And done. Oh, and all we need is some drums. Oh, look at this guy. Look at these. Put a little shiny paint on. A little painty. You know how nice that looks. Oh, wow. You're not even half ass in this thing. Right? <laughs> Boom. Boom. Oh, someone's got to clean that shit up. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay. That is a nice Pirelli Cinturato. That was on the SM when I got it. Was it, it? Had, yeah, it had studded fucking snow tires That's on the front. Crazy. Yeah. Who was driving that in the beats? winter, eh? Yeah. That was somebody's winter beater. Like, wow. of all the winter beaters, an SM. Nicely. Great. Done. And a few tools that didn't fall out of the trunk. <laughs> Christy. <laughs> I'm so pissed when I got one. That sucks, man. I'm probably going to end up dumping all of that yeah, in Yeah, just dump it all in there. Quit kidding yourself. <laughs> all right. Nice. Closer and closer. Okay. I'm just going to get these apart and then uh, clean up the hardware here and then we'll put the shoes on the only uh, slightly different thing from their what I'm used to is that these are held on with looks like single-use 
uh, clips here. So I'm going to just see how those go with one hand again. Pry them up and push them off, I guess. Holy shit! That's the spring loaded one. Anyway, probably be using both hands for the rest of those. Hardware kits here. I'm not sure how much this I'm going to use. I'll use absolutely what I have to and nothing else. Because, right, no way any of this is better than the original stuff. I ordered all this stuff before I had taken any of the car apart, so I just figured, well, I would rather have it and not need it than the other way around. I'll finish, you know, doing the grunt work here and then we'll just cut back to it. Seems like a good place to quit. Everything's gone smoothly. Yeah, that's right. Quit on a high note and it's still sunny out. Yeah. Be home before dark. Oh, did I scarf one of these? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go. I'm gonna start blowing my lines out. This thing's been a hammer. This is like your third winter. Yeah. Doesn't look any worse than it. <laughs> it's really hard to tell, isn't it? Yeah, like nobody's gonna be like, gee, it's rusting. Yeah. There, I can dub that in somewhere. <laughs> Okay, it's ridiculously early and I'm here with Laura and we're going to look at her new, uh, what did you buy? Something uh, that's not a car, it's the first non-car thing. I ever. bought a whole bunch of wood. You bought, bought a pile of old logs. A pile of old logs and I'm pretty darn excited. Pretty excited. Logs from what, 17 something? Well, the cabin was from 1790, but the yeah. logs were 100 years old. Yeah, the logs would be 100 years old then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally yeah. You, could some, uh, you could get some core samples done, eh? Yeah, yeah. It's a real time team uh, yeah. excursion today. Yeah. I'm gonna get some dendrochronology done. Dendrochronology, that's what it's yeah. called. Yeah. It's that's nice that your video. Volvo's not freaking out that I'm not wearing my seatbelt. What? Put your seatbelt on. Oh, I just, it's not it's not going ding 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 no, ding. No, no, the BMW that. is like, oh my god, uh, put know, your seatbelt on. That. And the Volvo's like, well, the whatever, you've been care. warned. Yeah, you've been warned. Besides your beard will save you. That's right. That's what it really is. Just, It'll catch it's, on it's something a, if we crash. Oh god. This is what morning is, eh? I don't like it. Plowed the road yesterday. Oh, the road. Quite a not different experience. Save that different experience driving down here in the Volvo than the uh, Model T, not gonna lie. It's been so sparkly this morning. It's very pretty. I'm getting a new engine for the Model T so it'll be fast. <laughs> so 30 <laughs> horsepower oh, is so within my grasp. Mm-hmm. Holy. You get killed that much faster then. Outstanding. Yeah. Snow like, bunting. Stop what? Snow bunting. Snow bunting. Oh, the bird. Yeah, the bird. Oh, I thought you were trying to tell me to stop something. No, 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 no. I'm not really a sparkly kind of person, but when it's trees and the trees are sparkly, then yeah. I get excited. And Here we are. There's a, it's a truck with tarps on it. So uh, anybody who watched the show a little bit might remember we uh, 
did a uh, Citroen DS for my friend Mark, who lives in Montreal, and uh, I think he has some connection to this, yes? Just a tiny bit. He was hardly any help at all, um, yeah, yeah. you know, <laughs> throughout the process. But no, actually, Mark found this website for me uh, years ago, and at the time, we weren't, um, we weren't looking specifically for a cabin for our for our property out here but uh then i remembered that he told us about this website and i got a hold of him here a few months ago and asked him about it and he hooked us up with the website again it was in french we needed some help uh as bilingual bilingual as you all know i am mm -hmm. uh, yes. i can't even speak english right now so anyway it's, it's too early because it's, it's not it's, i went onto the website found this cabin but I then just we looked in cabins 1790 and older. Yeah, I did. And this one came up. And so, yeah, Mark was absolutely instrumental in getting us to the Yeah, point he got it inspected or kind of look, look eat over. Yeah, you know, absolutely. And, he has a buddy yeah, that so. does this. That's what he does for a living. And, and so he went out and inspected the wood for us. And yeah. Uh, and yeah, if people Mark, don't know, this, uh, this cabin's <laughs> from Quebec. And. Uh, that's like a couple thousand miles away from us here. 3,000 so. miles. 3, it's a 36 hour drive from yeah, Trucker to get so this thing here. This is a, a long distance and I'm going to guess long term project. Probably. It's going to yeah. take a few minutes to put this Humpty Dumpty yeah. back together. Actually, it probably, to, we've got a builder lined up and it. we were told it's probably only going to take about two weeks to get the structure put up all going well which it won't so we we'll be yeah kidding. okay so two months right yeah. yeah yeah i think everything's labeled and like the fellow who took it apart kind of made basic plan of how it goes from what you showed me yeah, yeah. it was like literally sketched out on a piece of paper yeah just like so we've log got a, a log b and there but everything's actually, numbered everything's right? numbered so, uh windows are all numbered everything's um yeah. Oh, I know. I'll have it's to get a, you. Maybe we'll put a picture of what it's supposed to look like in here at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. a good idea. We're just going to link and log it back together kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Should be easy be enough. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Super excited to meet my uh, mm. logs. <laughs> Next long-term nightmare project. <laughs> <laughs> long-term money well, pit. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the odds are... Uh, almost even that it'll be done before the car so that is some incentive for me yeah Brought of course my, it's not uh, as rusty as the car you got your hudson bay hudson's bay nice. toque right there we go because gotta trade some the, i gotta go trade some pelts. trade some beaver pelts and get this thing paid for <laughs> <laughs> oh it's so cool hey look at all the hand work that's been it's all made by hand just amazing <laughs> hey, they're pretty happy about this, eh? Oh, is that ever cool? Look at these logs. It's actually really better than I expected. Yeah, Colin said some of them are so heavy they couldn't, like three, four guys, they couldn't even, they couldn't even roll them over. Really? Like even, yeah. Like they, they look like they're a little, well, they are. A little punky in here and there. But it must honestly, be near the they're, bottom, they're but they're solid, solid eh? What kind of wood is it? Do we white know? White pine, we think. White pine. We talking to Dad, he said white pine as well. Yeah, he yeah. wanted to come out and see it, but uh, not this early. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ditto. Yeah. Oh, I just love looking at all the... All the dovetails. All the joinery is amazing, yeah. yeah. And they all fit. That's why they're all numbered. Yeah, right? because, because it's all, all one for one, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's not... You couldn't substitute any pieces other than what they are. But look at it, it's all, like, axed out. Yeah, no, I mean, it's that's awesome. That's outstanding. Yeah. I am so excited. Ready? Yeah. 
Yeah. Pretty good. Well, that was easy. Yeah, that was. Good thing it was warm out. Whew, would have been uncomfortable had it been you know yeah. minus twenty two with wind chill. But <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, I, I am uh, so super excited. That is just absolutely outstanding. Like the dovetails and the, yeah, no, it's the, neat. And the, the hand-hewn axe marks on yeah, it, like the seven layers of old wallpaper to explore. Oh, it's and, be so oops, awesome. and the uh, just those old and logs, even the uh, unloading went pretty good. It was. It went actually. I would say as good as you could hope. Yeah, yeah. seamlessly. Is that? As seamless as anything around here goes. Yeah, that's right. When you're dealing with ridiculous things. Yeah, well, it's nice that I'm now the second most ridiculous project you have, so that's good. <laughs> Maybe when the cabin's done, you can get like a DC-3 <laughs> and take us all around. Yeah, We exciting. look forward to updates as that comes together. Uh, when are you going to start on it this summer? Uh, yeah, as soon as possible. Uh, as soon as the ground is thawed and we yeah. have permission. Oh um, yeah, you yeah. gotta fill yeah. out the forms. Get okay. The, yeah. Our builder yeah, basement, is uh, so excited. Maybe a little, little pony wall. A little to, wall with some people in storm. 1790 yeah. weren't as tall as people today. Yeah, this is true. So we have to pump it up a little bit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> on, buddy. Good, how's it going with you? Did you wash this barge? Uh, yeah, last week I gave it a wash. It was looking pretty shitty. <laughs> you gotta keep her looking good. You keep the salt down, you know. Yeah. Well, nice day for it. Right? Could be way worse. I checked is like minus four. I'm like, yeah. this is the this day. This is let's as good it. as it gets, yeah. This is, let's get her finished up. So today, Miles is gonna do that. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. Tom's, Tom's gonna fix my Chevy while yeah. I, uh, oh, yeah. I'm going to the bar. It's yeah. like yeah. summer out here. We better get something done. <laughs> People come by and the bullshitting starts. That's when, the problem. When the daylight leaves, I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> that would be like You're most set. of the time That's all right. winter long. Yeah. Yeah. When the bullshit starts. Well, it doesn't get dark till around 7. Oh, I know. We're in good shape it's now. Pretty nice. Yeah. It's oh, it's nice. nice. What a nice pub. Oh, you know what? Frankers is nice and warm because she's in the sun. Oh, oh, warm up my face, Frankers. Thank you. Tom's going to fix that up for you. Tom. Where's the fiberglass? Get, get started. All glasses, baby. <laughs> Tom's gonna help me uh, clean out brake lines, right Tom? Yeah, sure, yeah. At least we'll be inside. Or you can help Miles lying in the mud. What do you want to do? Yeah, what Tom, is, get under you here. Got some cardboard or something you can lay I got ice, what do I need cardboard for? <laughs> okay. Oh, you got the jack still under there? We're making a new line for sure. Yeah, that's a good idea. Jesus. I think you'll be happier if you do. It's so crusty. Just, then you don't even have to try to save it. Just yeah, break it off. It's coming out. Yeah. When you get a second, I'll steal your um, your needle nose vice grips. You bet. So I can pull this clamp clip out of here. Thank you. <clears throat> hey, Tom and I are going to do the brakes of like Chevy. Yeah. No, I'm, Come on. What, what, what do, you, do you need help for that? Yeah. Somebody's got to do all this stuff. Let's see how it's going. Got the uh, slightly fussy bullshit here. These springs were uh, uh, a bit of a job. Uh, anyway, Tom came by, so I conscripted him, and we managed to get those in. Just a very tight uh, fit. Uh, easy with two people, difficult with one. And I've got my other bits here. So. I'm going to reinstall the uh, wheel cylinder here and just a little bit of hardware and then we'll have a quick look. Tom and I have been blowing out the brake line so I've just been spraying uh, brake clean into the line and letting it sit and then blowing it out until it came out clean at the other side and pretty happy about that actually. I was afraid that it would all be uh, dried up and then it would be a real problem but luckily 
despite the master cylinder being bone dry, uh, there was still liquid uh, brake fluid in all the lines. Even though it was dirty and cruddy, it, uh, it all rinsed out really quickly. So that's exciting, I guess. Okay, where are you at? Right. Oh, new brake line. New brake oh, line. Great. Front to back, so. Front to back, yeah. Well, that's good. You can never be too careful with that stuff. So. Strangely runs on the passenger side, which is something I'm not used to. Oh, yeah. So it comes from the master over to here? Yeah. And then there's a junction block? Junction block right down there. Okay, and then... There. Oh, okay. Oh, so that's your baby there. Things. I've already got the flex line installed at the diff. Okay. So it's just a matter of putting this in and hooking it up. And nice. Well, that really didn't add very much time at all. No, that's why. That why was a good decision why to fight do with that yeah. fitting. I no, mean, no. Just break it. And you move on. you probably saved as much time as this took to make by just breaking the fitting off. Yeah. yeah quit right? screwing around. Frankers, are you helping today? That's good. Yeah, that's you're done. Easy. I may have gotten ahead of myself putting these in. Because the wheel cylinders got to go together now. So let's see how that all works. I'm going to tighten it up. Actually, let's tighten all these guys and then we'll put the wheel cylinder together. Three seals are leather and they're still in perfect condition too. Where do you see leather? Here. Okay. See that? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so that's, there's nothing you could buy that would be any better than that. So I'm going to leave the originals in there. That are packed and Right. Got our Very little nice. little race goes on there. Kind of I go like that. This is just also to stop flinging, I guess. Oh, it looks like that sits around the outside of here. Well, if we're putting it on, I should probably give it the final wipe with yep. some brake clean on the rag. <laughs> Fuck! I felt terrible. I blasted Tom with the fucking brake clean. Oh! <laughs> he was leaning in there and. Did you, is that what I heard through the door? Yeah. I was like, don't tell your wife that you got blasted with brake clean because she won't let you come over. Okay. Lovely. That seems pretty good already. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> nice, eh? I love those. There won't be a lot of high speed thing going on. This is the synthetic, good for 300 kilometer an hour grease. That yeah, that's right. right. Packing them, packing. These don't pack as nice as the rollers, that's for sure. Right. Yeah. Oh, I got the little needle fitting that goes on the end of my grease gun. You can slip between the tapered bearings and oh, yeah. force it all in there. Well, I can't see how we're going to have a problem here. Yeah. Okay. Just give it a push. Yeah. yeah, it looks like we're good. Looks good. Yeah. So okay. Those never changed through nope. all the years. Nope. Neither did this really. No. Nope. Except later they had just a castle. They just got a lot smaller. Yeah. Something's all right. Oops. But, I mean, we're out by a quarter of an inch here, okay? Yeah. Like, we're way off, so. Right, true enough. Like, that is well inside. Like, that seems to be sitting yeah, properly. We got the wrong... Okay, I'm gonna put this back here. Yeah, you think they're different from side to side? No, it shouldn't be. Maybe that one's not going in? Oh, there. That makes a difference, doesn't it? There. Look at the difference. Yeah. Good. Easy fix. Man, they're even adjusted really good already. Yeah, it sounds like you have contact. Yeah. It looks like this might have originally had a cover, so we might put a plastic plug in there. Okay. Just to keep your wheels clean. Yeah. Well, to keep the water out of the drums. Yeah. Right. This was bent here, so they straightened that out. Okay. Looks like that was the only bend. That's way too tight, so it's got to be that one.
Okay, on to the other side. Hey, nice. boo-boo. How's Easy. it going? Easy as pie. Do do yes. Let's uh, uh I just did a bench bleed on it. Yeah. Look how good. easy that is though, eh? Yeah, that's how it Two should be. Two bolts, eh? rod. Nice. Oh. And then one line out. Oh, oh man, if we get brakes, we're going for a drive. Oh of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we don't have a plate, but uh, well, we'll go for drive. Mate. Well that's easy enough. Do you have fluid? I do. On the trunk of the, the toolbox. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. I'm just gonna do some uh, dust cap dust ins. Yeah. And then I'm done the fronts on mine, and then my car can go up in the air uh, at the back. Exciting. Yeah. I mean, we're not trying to make them great, but that's pretty raunchy. This one's somehow worse. I don't know. <laughs> Man, like, really? That's not really necessary. But, nevertheless, well, there's one, and again, not meant to be perfect, but it doesn't look so trash now. And there's a few little nicks where there's actually material missing, but I'm not going to worry about that. And, uh, yeah, it looks like they were not painted, so I guess they'll just go on like that. So we'll get on to this one. This one's not as bad. Just a couple of big ones on the sides, and then straight there. All right. Oh, there she is. Fuel tank out. This is the old one? Yeah. Oh yeah, well. It doesn't look I've seen terrible, worse, yeah. honestly. But if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It doesn't look perforated anywhere. She's a little no. crusty, for sure. Yeah, it doesn't take much. Look how ugly be. the new shit is. You know that plastic, eh? Yeah, well. Awful. You're not in a... In kind It'll of a beggars job, can't be choosers situation, I guess, today. Yeah, we're going high po. Losing the 516s, going to 3 Oh, eights. yeah, yeah. Well, at least it's not leaking. Yeah, no, that's nice. No rust yeah. holes through. Yeah, good. Could be worse. We'll just throw yeah. some fuel in there for now. Very good. It's very old for sure. Chunks coming out of there? No. No, no dirt, no rust, nothing. Just old gas. going right up to the edge on all three so it's centered. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Beautiful. Done. Comes with okay. a new ground strap. Cool. Yeah. It's kind of nice. It's hard to find a ground under there. Tape up that. Is that the only way out? It must be. And this. Oh, and that. So we could tape up both while I clean tape it up. Tape up both and then clean it up, yeah. Yeah. Watch out for this. Painter always does his own prep work, right? Yeah. Can't be mad at anyone else if the uh, shit doesn't uh, stick. I wasn't going to do any of this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but it's all covered in dust, and I figured, like, look at that rag, probably, right? Just quick one. And quick one, and boom. Go. Uh, I finally found a use for the rattle can chrome, <laughs> right? which is basically useless for anything else. Because it ain't chrome. It ain't chrome, and it ain't really anything, but it does cover up bare metal, and it's free. Uh, all right, here we go. Watch out, Mini. Ooh. Right? Oh, yeah. Right, brand new, buddy. Brand new. Straight off the presses. Freshly galvanized tank. Yeah. Galvanizing in a can. This is a brand new can too. I don't know where it came from. I've never bought this stuff. No. Buy it once. No. You're immediately yeah. disappointed. That's right. It's and the most never buy it again. Disappointing. <laughs> when I was a kid and I bought a can of this stuff, oh, I yeah. thought, oh my god, this is gonna change my life. And then I used it and I was like, what? Yeah. What a chip. Bullshit. Jeez, the pattern's gone to hell. We didn't even get halfway through. No? Lost your fan? Yeah. Just back from the chrome shop, buddy. <laughs> oh, 
you even put the little paper down, eh? Oh, uh, yeah. Don't like already, the multicolored stuff. Already contamination. All right, I think that's it. I think that's good. All right, that's just got some kind of coating on. Looks like you tried. That's this came for you in the mail. No. Really? Yeah. 1960 Pontiac, buddy. Fuck. From this gentleman? Yep. Oh, thanks, Gerald. That's so nice of you. Yeah, cool, eh? Oh, I love these. Like the real book, yeah, not the, the Haynes yeah, fucking not manual. The little condensed reader's thing, right? digest version. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be my reading material as I go off to bed now for yeah, the next right? little while. <laughs> Your paperback. I'm yeah. going to be interested in doing more repairs because I'll have the answers before I have the questions. <laughs> Oh, yeah, chassis so nice. shop manual. Cool, so eh? nice. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. Cheers. Yeah. I really appreciate that. All we gotta do is put this thing in the hole and we should be lucky. We're gonna go on an angle, so let me go up first. Okay. Okay. What else? Anything else in the way? Okay. No, wait, we got to... Is it trying to go onto the rubber? Or what? Okay, give me a push towards me. Yeah, that, that looks good. Yeah, that's good. That's it. And okay. we can go up higher now or wherever no, we I'm need in. to be. Okay, find a strap. There's a square washer uh, okay. right by the jack stand with a yep. nut. Uh, okay, and you're going to be able to hook up with the hose is easy. Okay. Yep. I'm done. Yeah, nice. Nicely. Look at that. I think you're spinning. That's it, man. Brand new tank. Beauty. They don't quote for that, eh? They're no, it, up what's, your hand time. Yeah, what's the blue book on it's <laughs> fucking warm in the winter? Point 0.5. God damn it. You've already had point 0.5. Is, Get back to work. That's it. All right, let's go. Mark and I are doing the brakes on the Chev today because he picked today as a very unfortunate day to show up. <laughs> that was and Miles killed the battery on the impact. Oh, did I? Would you have another? No. Okay. Excellent. So, same as the front, everything in, look at, okay. 100% on the shoes. Yeah, so. looks pretty good. Just gonna get all the shit out of here. Great. Oh, yeah, that's easy good. enough. Mm -hmm. It's exactly the same as the fronts. Okay, perfect. So, and the drum is also... Yeah, they look pretty good. Look at they've never even been touched. No. Those, I swear, are zero miles. Okay. Like, look at the machining grooves are still in them. Right? Nice. Like, they've never even been driven on. This is how the fronts were, too. Okay. Like, somebody did the brakes on this car and then parked it. So, we'll pull everything apart and, I mean, it's just the simplest little job. It's awesome. Okay. Just... Okay, easy enough. All right. Um, oh, oh, that's park oh, yeah. brake. We do have park brake on these. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like that's an adjustment. It's probably on a cam. To it, it, yeah, okay, oh, that's yeah, right. Okay. They are on cams. Yeah. And we'll just get this corner here, and then overall. Nothing weird down below where the cable no, hooks up. No, this is the same as the fronts. Okay. Everything's the same as the front except for this little lever system here, okay. which is that Bar and that. Across. And, that, and it all works. I see a cable, so it must hook up to something over there, bar. Yeah, yeah there it is there. Oh, a little, you got a safety mark. Good to yeah, go. Good to go. Regular pair of pillars, and then this guy takes this off. Clear. All your tools right here? Yep. There we go. It's a little it different than the, the ones in the 49. There we go. Easy, just push in and try to wiggle them out of there. There we go. Yeah. Good. Nice. There. And we'll take it off there. Take it off with the lower these, pins. Then these tricky ones we can do on the table. Yeah. Otherwise you're ruined. I just wonder if this is an eccentric. Could be. Yep. See? It moves yeah. Yeah. So we're going to leave it right there. Cool. Shouldn't matter, but. It's a minor adjustment of the emergency brake. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise it might not pull the same on each wheel, right? Oh yeah. Now, I think we will find, oh yeah, please. Just bend out of the way like you're supposed to. Yeah. And push off like you're supposed to. Sound good? Okay, see? Everybody's remembering this when it goes back together, right? Yeah, well, uh, we're recording it even. <laughs> there you go. Oh, look at that. How sweet is that? Round, Round two. Four, maybe? Whatever. Whatever. We're all the same. Yeah. 
which makes it easy and fun. Yeah. Anything we could Look do. Look how quick that was. Okay, where did that spring wow. go on the other side? Which one? This Down one here. Mm -hmm. uh, everything on this car has been like this. So nice. It's just finger tight, man. Nice. After doing that Fury where everything had to be cut off with a torch and made fun of different cars, like this is just like doo doo doo, just tune up time. Okay, and then this just unhooks as we noticed. Right. And that guy goes over there. This will just uh, swap right over to right. the new one. Yeah. So all you gotta do is this guy now, right? That's the ugly bastard. And that was the one that's underneath. Let's take a nap. Short dirt nap, as they say. Yeah, all right. We all get the dirt nap sooner or later. glasses <laughs> so that's it now, just now let's it. just clean it oh this guy that's right so uh, right. right a lot of mud in this in the back here you see that I'm gonna yeah. get all that clay off of there so there's a lot of oh well, I guess that's great my niece will have employment for the next <laughs> she's been pretty good I just I give her like the worst jobs and she's just happy to, whatever yep yeah, puts yeah. on her headphones do to do scraping dirt I don't give a fuck crazy good for her good kid yeah okay. Fantastic. There we go. Oh, perfect. Done. All right, cleaning time. Wow, Great we fun. never get tired of this. How many times have you done this in your life, Pink? <laughs> oh, All the times, right? All the time. I think that learning how to fix brakes was probably, it was the first thing I learned, and it's probably saved me more money in my life than knowing how to do anything else, except mm -hmm. maybe body work, but, but brakes you need. Shiny cars you don't need. That's right. Shiny cars you could argue are a nightmare. So, pretty simple. Actually, uh, yeah, I'm glad we were able to get this. This is an absolute kitty to get that one. It's a little tiny clip oh, on the back, see, yeah. but that's stronger than the valve springs. Like that thing is tough. Yeah, I have it looks me that way. leaning on that as hard as I could, just enough for Tom to get that clip on there. Oh, Christ. So okay. they have to be pre-assembled. That's why I'm glad we could get it apart this way. Everything else is extremely simple and. I don't know, the wheel cylinders will be the only unknown, and I bet you we can pop those apart right now. It's gruesome close-ups time. Yeah. Hey, check it out, we actually got them apart, man. They didn't come too bad. Oh yeah? Yeah, nice. pretty, pretty full apart. of crap. Nice. Ro rusty and shitty, but whatever. Yeah. And the uh, pistons are excellent. They'll clean yeah, up. Yeah. And this one. That's oh yeah, gross some in there. good it crusties. Sure is, like some nice the crusty rust, brake fluid, yeah, and moisture got in there. Yeah, mostly through the rubber age. seals and yeah. Yeah. inch and three sixteenths and inch and a quarter on the front. So that's how that's what they so did they instead did. of a proportioning yeah. valve. Yeah. I forgot to check and I opened it <laughs> locky. I'm like, no, no fucking way! way. Uh, <laughs> but the car came with keys and the keys hanging so on the chain. Yeah, <laughs> <gas lines or laughs> yeah, yeah. I was just gonna ask you. Really? Uh, yeah. Did you get a pedal? No, I haven't touched pedal yet. Well, <laughs> who needs pedal? What is all this pedal talk? You bled the brakes. I figured they were good. Oh yeah, it was me now. You guys hear what I hear? Well, actually, I'll let you guys go for the ride because I mean, this thing is somewhere we won't be able to climb into the back. Yeah, and if it fails, we need to call somebody. <laughs> Do you have brake lights? Yeah, brake lights. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Left. Signals. Right. Yeah. Left. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. Good. Son of a gun. Okay. You got okay. headlights? Uh, yeah. The high beam switch is not working. That's all right. We got that much. Better to be stuck on low beam than high beam, I think. Yeah, I'm going to have to pull these out for cold air induction soon anyway, <laughs> so. Jesus. I guess the heater's too much to ask, eh? A little early, yeah. That, that guy's gonna have to come out. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, any freeze level shouldn't have changed. Yeah, right? I checked it. Look at the fucking motion. I know. <laughs> oh. Oh. Brakes? Ish. Snug that down. Like, uh, yeah. what do you got, like half pedal? Yeah, oh yeah, at least half. Oh, that's fine, yeah. No, oh, that's good. And you got lights, so, man, that's that's amazing. She's ready to go. Done. Yeah. 
You gotta take off or what? Yeah, I gotta take off. Thanks so much for coming out, man. Not a problem, man. It's, it's always a it. good time, man. Yeah. At least you get a laugh at people whose lives are just insane, right? Huh. There I'm you go. Trying to pull a, a wheel rim out of the ground. <laughs> yeah, right? Christ. Wow, she's even starting to sound pretty good. Yeah, the air in that back tire, that was pretty low. Yeah. Is that an option? Do we have sure, an air check? Yeah, I got so, a little tidying or what? Yeah. Damn. You're taking this off? Uh, I don't know. Me too. I guess you could. Yep. Gregor's is super ready to go, eh? Jeez. <laughs> She's like, hurry up, you guys. I've waited for weeks. <laughs> Best part of her day. Yeah. Never have to talk her into a ride. It's In pretty, pretty big day, right? Yeah. Get Hard grind. Off the trailer and... Out the yeah, door. from trailer to trail in a few weeks, eh? I figure it was not three, bad. maybe four, three, maybe four, four weeks. Months. And it's not like you were here every day. No, well, it's minus 20 something, I don't know. Yeah, right, like, man, I don't know anybody else who built a car outside in this weather this year, so not bad. Yeah, so uh, it's now officially got insurance. We had talked about doing this last night, but then I'm glad we didn't, you know, he didn't have any insurance and it was dark and we found what, two or three leaks in the brakes. So yeah. all stuff that would have been very hard to see at night. And so here we are. Ready, nice sunny day. And nice sunny day. Now we can play. Nice old Pontiac. Just put some tools in it just in case, eh? Yeah, probably. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong, eh? <laughs> inspector comes yeah away. that's right if rusty rocker panels were illegal you're going to jail <laughs> but if they're not we're gonna be fine all right all right I'm gonna I'll warm it up here Do -do 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 -do. Having fun today with Uncle Miles driving around. Right on. Brakes feel good. is no high beams, right? Right. We don't need those yeah. to get to the store and back. Okay, sweet. Say performance. Yeah. Oh, it's got more. More than I've asked out of my 60. There you go. Yeah. It's pretty decent actually. It's not bad. I'm afraid to open the vents. Decent alignment. Oh yeah. Steering's not really that sloppy. No, yeah, it's good. pretty tight. Pretty reasonable and yeah, going drivable. straight down the road on 
50 year old radials. Am I turning right yeah, there? Yeah, that's your right where that guy came out. Yeah. Oh, look at that bright light on the dash. I like that. Yeah, cool. Oh, downshift's on its own. I don't even have to do really? it. Really? Yeah, it just did. Huh. Must have the trailer mode on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, we just lost forward propulsion. Oh no. Might be low on fluid. Yeah, I'm we starting to really guess. Check that. Because <laughs> we weren't. <laughs> we weren't know, really. We weren't on a flat land. We weren't right, flat. maybe we should check that while we're there. Yeah. Because we could buy some ATF. Yeah, we'll top that up. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, there we go. <laughs> Get the tow and truck. We're and we're done. Let's see you next week. That exhaust is just farting away though. Oh yeah, it's not great. It's leaking after the muffler at least. Not mm -hmm. What do you think? Nice, eh? It's just like car rides, you don't care. As long as we're going for a ride in something. It's like, well, it's still better than the Model T. There's no wind whistles in here, eh? No, sedan, buddy. Yeah. Right? Those nice. hard tops, that's a, just a nightmare. So I have two ponchos. Neither one of them have wind whistles. No. Yeah, you can be body by Fisher t-shirts before too long. Uh-oh. Oh. Come on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that tranny has to hurt. <laughs> uh, well, if it's not low on fluid, I think you might be trying to find a transmission yeah. or something. Yeah, we look windows. like whole crazy farmers pulling in with this baby. This, where's the gas can? Oh, I guess we don't uh, need it. Okay. So far, so, so good. I'm going to go get some snacks and some drinks. Yeah, sounds great. Two liters of ATF and some gas. And we're back on the road. Yeah. Well, it'll definitely be happier no matter what. Yeah, no shit. Done that a couple times. Save a car, forget to check the tranny fluid. Yep. Make it a block and a half and it's in neutral. <laughs> Funny how the Chev today seems to have triple the value yeah. of these things. Well, these are just unknown thing. Oh, that shift's tight now. Yeah, yeah that tight. That shift is a lot better. Yeah. Boom. I keep waiting for the third one. There's nobody there, eh? It goes right. It goes back first, into second, right and there. you're done. Well, it's not flying into neutral anymore. No. There you go. That's much yeah. easier than a rebuild. It's, uh, it's behaving itself very well, actually. Yeah. This is really no problem to drive. No. Look at this, hands off the wheel. Yeah, dead Gorgeous. straight. Dead Hasn't straight. Hasn't been crashed. No, oh, it's a nice straight car, man. Awesome. Nice Hard to find these old days. Girl. Yeah. Is she 50 years old? Yeah, 60 years old, man. Christ. 60. Since I'm not in the DS today, yeah. slow her down. There we yeah, go. Well, there we go. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, it's crispy nice now. Yeah. Power glide. Years of life in front of them. Yeah, they're pretty tough. They last a long time. See if Pete has an extra 5,000 stall around now. Well, I guarantee you he does. Don't think you want it with his engine, but... The six would blow up on the first Oh, this thing wouldn't even get out of the driveway with a 5,000 stall. No. It would stall on its way out. This is a very drivable car right now, honestly. Yeah, absolutely. It's nothing more. Oh, heat would be nice. Yeah. Heat would be nice, yeah. Heat, heat's next on the bill, I guess. Yeah, you gotta get in there. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. man. Makes a guy smile, this one, for sure. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the show today. Uh, we always have a good time putting it together and uh, really enjoy that uh, so many people would uh, check it out and leave a comment and all of that type of thing. Very kind of you. Frankers is running around somewhere. She was supposed to be in this part of the video, but she has other ideas. Hey, it's uh, 13 years we've been doing this now as of this month, I think, March or April. 13 years, man. I never had a job for 13 months, so pretty fun. Uh, here we are, <laughs> still buying the same old shit. Uh, Maybe this summer we have a little bit of plan for this Fury. 
shout out to our buddy Weird Beard, sweet coffee mugs, support our friend the Weird Beard, working on a 72 Fury as well. Just finished watching his video, awesome. Uh, cheers, Mike. Obviously this one's not going anywhere right away, it's kind of snowed in, but uh, I've got some plans for the summer, maybe a little bit of Fury action. Just wanted to say thanks and hi to everybody who just subscribed. And a uh, special thank you to, of course, all the patrons of the show and everybody who just joined us on the, the Patreon. Uh, very kind of you. It is uh, you guys to keep it on the air. I don't want to put 300 ads in each one of these videos, so this is uh, that's the way we're going to have to keep doing it. And uh, it's very much appreciated and makes this all possible. So if you, uh, if you do uh, watch the show every week and everything, uh, it's those people we thank. So awesome, you guys. Um, what else is happening? Hope you enjoyed the little bit on uh, Laura's little log cabin project. Little project, I guess. Uh, we'll, I hope, get to check in with her as that comes together over the next uh, few months here. <laughs> I had a quick look at it and uh, I think my odds of finishing the car before the cabin is done are at least uh, even, so happy about that. Uh, I've been working a lot on the rover and just haven't been filming a lot of you know you can only show fitting door gaps for so long and it just you can't even see the difference on the film so I quit uh, worrying about trying to film every second of that but we are getting close to where I'm going to blow the car apart and paint the uh, paint the body shell and the body shell is going to go back to Colin to install the engine and all that type of thing and while he's doing that I'm going to be painting the panels so that's why it's so important that everything gets fitted ahead of time because once they're painted they have to go back on and fit exactly the way they do now. Then, once it's all painted, we'll reassemble everything, fit everything one more time, then we're going to sand the car down and put a couple more coats of paint on it, and then that's what we will sand and polish. So we're still, you know, there's, it's a pretty involved process when you want a car to look decent, so uh, I hope that uh, you'll uh, get a kick out of seeing what I'm hoping will be one of the nicer rovers around. Of course, it's pretty easy when there are only tiny number of them around, I guess. Obviously, I'm pretty stoked to get on this old Plymouth here. I just love these things. I don't know why. Some kind of broken in the head, I guess, growing up in the 70s. And, you know, this is what we went to swimming lessons in and up to the beach and all that bullshit. So there's something in the DNA about these old sea body Chryslers. This was the only one I was going to make any time for. It had to be a 72 sports suburban wagon. And, uh, of course, our friend Todd in Calgary had this, so to find one only a couple hundred miles away, I was pretty stoked. And uh, going to be tearing into this one, not right away. I'd like to get it running and moving around this summer, but the full restoration, and it needs one. Like, it looks not bad, but this has to come completely apart. Uh, so that will probably uh, be uh, something that we'll be taking on after a couple others are finished. Yeah, we got Laura's car to finish up. Uh, 37 Chevy will be coming on the road soon. I'm glad you guys are enjoying that project. I'm just loving it. I mean, I just, any car that is not a 3,000 hour welding project is all right in my books. And the Chev is almost cheating. It's so good. Uh, we've got lots more coming up on the Model T engine with Matt and Jim out at Strong's Garage. Uh, another fantastic show that I hope you guys are watching. Yep, yeah, SM, uh, I got the Roadster project I'd like to finish up. And we are not short of projects, so I know we, uh, <laughs> I like to encourage people to suggest what car we should work on next, but um, always with the understanding that there's a couple that I have to finish first. I really don't want to be the guy that dies with 20 unfinished cars and his projects all taken apart and scattered all over the place. So we're going to make sure that uh, a lot of these get finished up before we start into a next one. So that's all. And uh, oh yeah, please subscribe. Please hit the, you know what I mean, you guys. We've been doing this forever. Uh, much appreciated. Craigers, come say hi to everybody. Oh, there you are. How's it going? You having fun today? What are you doing? Look at that coffee cup. Neat, eh? Huh? Tough crowd. <laughs> Alright. Stop at any time for more of the... This is a regular ah, contributor. Same old shit.
down by my slow down, my rubber out of sight. And when the sparks started flying, man, it looked like a fourth of July. Well, up my hand, I gotta stop, brother, mister, I'm a gonna get this. Well, that's a last run I'm making in a rig called a natural express. There was 36 pounds of dead niggas to kill over 18 tires on the smoke and steel. Tried to run it down, but I could jump a It'd be a big hole where the little town used to be. Yeah.